find the wavelength of the sound from the speakers. Two coherent speakers and we have a second maximum sound from the centre and that's the measurements. What is the condition for the second maximum sound? Well, the condition for the second maximum sound is that the path difference must be two whole wavelengths, two lambda. What is the actual path difference from the diagram? We can see it's going to be 84 centimetres. Take away the 80 centimetres, we're going to leave it with 4 centimetres. So the actual path difference is 4 centimetres, and the condition is that the path difference must be two whole wavelengths. So therefore, we've got two whole wavelengths must be equal to 4 centimetres, which implies that one wavelength is equal to 2 centimetres. A stationary space station emits a laser beam towards a moving spacecraft travelling at 0.6 c. Tick the correct speed of the laser beam measured by the moving spacecraft. Now the laser beam is going to be travelling at the speed of light, and the moving spacecraft is going to go towards it at 0.6 c, but the moving spacecraft will always measure the speed of light to be equal to c. And that's Einstein's famous discovery. No matter how you measure the speed of light, no matter if something's moving towards you or moving further away from you, you're going to measure the same speed, c. Mm -hmm.